Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to cite equations within the text in Microsoft Word and also how you can write equations in Microsoft Word. So let's get started. So, writing an equation is very easy in Microsoft Word. First of all, I will just show you an example. Currently, all these equations are cited using referencing refer, uh, using equation referencing so that's why you can see that they are highlighted like this like 1 2 4 5 and 11 and similarly you can see that the references for these equations are over here next to their respective equations so first of all i'm just going to copy this one and paste this as a text so that these referencing are going to be finished and i will show you how you can do it by yourself now if i select these one you can see that they are not referenced anymore Similarly, I'm also going to remove these references so that I can add manually and show you how I manage these references. Also, there's a small trick how you can manage your equations in a better way. I will show you what. Okay, so first of all, if you select this one, you can notice that this is a table. So I've just removed the boundaries of the table so that it doesn't show in the main text. So if I select all borders, you can see that these are my equations. So now you can see that these are equations and they are in the respective uh, rows. So I'm going to add another column. So I'm going to select here, insert column to the right. So now this right column is a little bit outside. So what I will do is select this one, go to the table design or sorry, layout options and click here, auto fit window. Now you can see that my tables uh, have two columns. So one column is for my equations and the second column is for my table referencing. So now I will show you how you can add the referencing for each equation. So for example, now I have 10 equations. For example, if I add manually equation numbers to these equations and number two over here, and if I code these ones here in the main text, and sometime later I change the position of my this equation to below uh, after the fourth equation, then this referencing will also have to be changed, but manually. So this has a lot of uh, chance for the error, which you don't want to make in your manuscripts. So in order to avoid this error, you can automatically cite these ones uh, using easy and simple methods. I will show you how. First of all, go to home, go to references, and then uh, add insert caption. In insert caption, you will have different options, which includes label for tables, equation, figure, and fi uh, uh, different figures, which is the custom label. So if I click over here, it will show you something like this, equation one. Now there are two options. You can also exclude this equation name from the title and just show equation one like this. So uh, this is one way to do, or you can make a new label with a new name, let's say equation, and then you can click okay and you will appear, you will see that your new equation has appeared. You can also click here to exclude the label and you will have this new format. Now you can see here, when I, once I click here, it appears here, which I don't want here because I selected here. I'm going to select here, insert caption, and then, okay, I will select it uh, and okay here. So I'm going to cut this one. I'm going to paste it here. And then I'm going to put it in a bracket. So for example, this is my reference. I'm going to put a bracket here. Now one bracket here and one bracket here. Also, I'm going to make sure that all my texts are in same size, which is I'm used to Roman and to a 10. So select this one and make it 10 and then times new Roman. So now you can see that this is a little bit on the top, so I'm going to change the layout from here and make sure that it is centered. So it is not going in center because of the extra space. I'm going to delete the extra space and bring it in the center. Also, now I'm going to click here. Now it is perfectly in the center. So instead of adding again and again, going to the referencing, adding insert caption and putting a new caption again, there's a simple way to do that. Copy this one, select all the tables here and control Z. So once you do this, you can see they are here right now, and then you can put them like this. And you are wondering why they are not updated. So select all of these, right click, and then you can update them. But you can't see the option here, so just press Control, just press simply F9 or Control F9. Now you can see that your numbers are automatically updated from one, two, three, four, up till 11 equations. Now you are going to cite these ones in the main text, which I remove in initially just to show you how you can do that so also this is a little bit bold we are going to finish the bold font and now they are similar like this so first of all we are going to cite this one so go to the referencing go to insert caption or 
No, this time we have to go to the cross reference. So once you click on the cross reference, you will see that there are two different things. Reference type, which includes numbered headings and also the equation that you made. So we are going to click here and it will show you all the equations that you have in your references. So now we are going to add equation one here and click OK. So now you can see equation one is entered. You can remove the bold font and then it will be a simple equation as it shows like this. Now if I select all the text, now you can see that this shows a highlighted version which shows that this is the cited version. Now if I move this one, now I will uh, replace these number 2 to 4 which means I'm also going to show that from 2 to 4 these are the equations. So select this one, insert, close it and then select 4 that means from equation 2 to 4 represent the thing capex which is cost uh, capital investment. So I'm going to select this one and insert and close. Similarly, I will do the same for 5 and 11. Go here, cross reference, and then click on 5, insert. Instead of doing one by one for all, just show the range from 5 to 11. And then it shows and represents the same thing that you want to show for your, uh, for your individual equations. Okay, so now I'm going to tell you what is the difference between doing like this and doing manually by just typing 1 and 2. Now, for example, if I cut this equation from here, control X, and I put it over here at the bottom and control V. So now, as you can see that, now this equation has changed its position, which I don't want actually. So what I will do is, I will change the numbering from here. So I will delete this one, entire row, okay? I will select all of it, and then press control and F9. So now you will see that my numbers are changed. Now this third equation, which was equation num number 4 before, now is equation number 11 because it's in the bottom. And similarly, you can see the references have also changed. From equation 1 shows capex and opex, 2 to 3 shows this one, and 4 to 11 shows this one. But there's one drawback for this one because when you are using uh, the range for equations, then this might create a problem. So you need to be sure that how you have to manage this. But for individual equations, this is a, this is a perfect thing. For example, if I, for example, if this is equation two only and this is equation four only, now notice what happens. If I move this equation two from here, control X and put it at the bottom now, and also equation four from here, control X and put it at the bottom. Now, the new numbers for two and four should be ten and eleven. Now let's see what happens. I'm going to delete this one entire row. Okay. I'm going to select all again and press Ctrl F9 or just F9 and you will see the new numbers are automatically updated in the text so you don't have to worry at all. In the end, once you are done with finalizing your equations, you can just go in the Home tab, click here and remove the borders and now you can see that your equation looks so organized and so better. I hope you guys like this, in, in this video and hope you guys learned new thing from this video and one last thing which I'm going to show you is how you can add an equation and then we are going to close this video over here so that this video is not too long and also recommend you and also request you to subscribe my channel so that I can make more videos. So let's just keep this example and we are just going to show you how you're going to make this equation simply. Just type FOC and okay just a second I'm going to type here click here and I'm going to click here and type FOC because I'm just going to copy this equation. Okay, let's um, let's just make this one a little bit below so that it doesn't create a problem. Go to insert option equation and then I'm going to type FOC. Now there are two things. One is in the sub subscript, one is in the superscript. So for superscript, press this one and I, it goes on the top and then press underscore and type AWE and it goes to the bottom. Okay, this is one way to do this. Another way to do this one is Simply go here, script, and then you can see two different options, which is like this one. So you can press this one, and you can simply do like this. C, and the next one is I, and then it comes A, W, E. So this is the easy way which I told you. Then press equals to. Now this has a symbol. Go to insert option, symbols, and then you can find a relative symbol here, which is alpha. And then same, underscore one. If it's going to subscript, dot C, A, P caps i it goes to the superscript then press underscore a w e it goes to the subscript and then c a w e so this is how you can write an equation so once you are done with this one go to the home option and press the tab like this one and then 
you can also include a table for this one which is in easy way go to insert option put a table two columns like this one select this one cut it paste it here and then you can make it like this one and then what you have to do is copy this one copy paste it here and then in the layout section go here like this and put it like this one and then select all and what you have to do is press ctrl f9 and will automatically update to equation number 12. lastly you can remove the columns remove the extra space if you want and then you're all set and this is how you do it one more last thing which you have to do is that you can select this one and see all the borders now you can see a difference that these are different rows so you can select like this one so that they all come in a single uh, boundary and then go to the layout option and put them in the center now you can see everything is aligned remove this extra space delete rows okay select this one go to home option and select no borders so that's all and I hope you guys like this video and if you learned a new thing from this one very easy and simple to use those two guys who don't have uh, softwares like math type to write equations you can simply do that in Microsoft Word in an easy and simple way this is it for this video I hope you guys like this video if you like it please leave a like comment and subscribe if you haven't yet I'll see you in the next video till then take care Allah Hafiz